Hello everyone. Thank you for joining us today for our hands-on demonstration for standing instructions. Sangam is going to walk us through step-by-step -step how to set up a standing instruction so that we can have regular recurring loan payments and so on. As always, when I start these videos, I like to point you over to our wiki pages where you can find all of your documentation, your user manual, and so on in the user zone. And again, today, standing instructions. So you do not have to take a lot of furious notes because the instructions are there and documented. So you can simply watch and refer back. If there are areas that you can't quite find in the documentation, or if you have another sort of questions, simply post it here. Now write out your question, your topic, do a little search. Your screen will populate with the answers that are out there in our answer hub. If you still don't have sufficient information, simply ask a question. Someone in our community will get back to you really quickly. Without further ado, I would like to turn the control over to Sangamesh and let him do the hands-on introductory material. Thank you, Sangamesh. Here you go. I'm on the MIFOS login page. Let me log in as super user. Then go to admin, organization, then styling ins instructions history. So this is the styling instruction history. It will display all the uh, st executed styling instruction history. In order to create styling instruction, we need to have um, savings account. We need to have a savings account, uh, which is or which should be in active status. So I have created a savings account here. Then once the savings account is active, then on clicking on the mode, you could see create standing instructions. You need to click on create standing instruction then provide the name. Uh, let's say standing instructions for loan. Then select the type. So the standing instruction can be from savings to loan or from savings to savings or from savings to RD or FD accounts. So let me select type has loan repayment. If it was a savings to savings, then it could be, or it would have been upon transfer. So let me select has loan repayment. Then you could set up the priorities. For example, let's say there are three different standing instructions. So priority may vary. Depending upon the priority, you could set up the uh, priority level here. So let me select as urgent priority, then status active from account type. So that is saving second from account. It will show the link savings. So that is savings uh, with the ID has three. Then destination. You could select either one that is own account or within the bank. So let me select own account. And it, it um, displays the office and the beneficial name as well. Mm -hmm. To account type, which is the account type, you could define that. Uh, let me select as account type as loan account. Then once once you have selected the loan account, it will display the um, loan with the loan ID number. You could select that. Then what is the standing instruction type, whether it's a fixed or whether it's a dues. So if I give this as a fixed, uh, depending upon the fixed repayment amount, you could 
mention the amount here otherwise if it is dues it will take up the due amount so you can do either one validity from let's say um, from 14th from has on today and you could set up this till uh, what date so let me provide as 29 february then recurrence type whether it uh, it can be a periodic recurrence or has per dues recurrence so let me select has period recurrence then interval <clears throat> We could provide the intervals like let's say one if i provide this as one it will uh, take as a one installment then mm, recurrency frequency then you could select whether it's a one day or whether it's a one week or whether it's a one month so let me select as one week on month day so it's an alternative to interval or recurrence frequency for monthly transfers the day of the month may be specified so let me skip that and click on submit now if i go back and uh, see the view standing instructions so you could see here there are two accounts okay this is active that is fixed with the amount has mentioned here and note this will uh, start doing the standing instruction from has on 14th which will be a uh, next uh, we'll go back to the loan repayment if i go back to the loan repayment here you could see uh, the next installment is on 15th which is tomorrow so the standing instruction will happen and get collected with 850 if i had provided the due so it would have collected if 850 plus 850 then um, the uh, this will happen when the scheduler or uh, the associated scheduler, scheduler jobs um, gets run so i'll go back to the system then scheduler jobs then here is the um, job to execute the process so execute standing instruction this once this job runs the standing instructions will get applied and you could go back on um, 15th and check for the um, check for the scheduler job history that is admin organization standing instruction history so it will come up here the executed standing instruction will be listed here so this is about the standing instruction let me pass it back to dena thank you dena thanks so much for that i always enjoy your presentations um again if you have questions or you want to look up a topic refer to our answer hub if you want to hack around on the system you have an idea you just kind of want to test something out feel free to just bang around on our demo server you won't hurt a thing in there and you can set up anything up any way you want and kind of test out your thoughts if you have not signed up for your users list please do so this is where we we will send announcements from mifos but the best part is you can ask a global community their opinion on anything you're wanting to try set up any kind of information you know anything you really want to know and our community gets back to you it's great we do have uh getter im of course our main web page and our general mailbox so thank you very much and we will see you next time bye bye